Hi ho folks, it's me again, Sonia, and I'm back today with a dual purpose. Um, we have been talking about herbs and what their uses are, where their orientations are, or where they're coming from, and um, such as that, and how I've been packaging them and organizing my uh, shelf for the dark time. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Some of you know, I'm sure all of you know, our high priestess uh, is in the hospital and uh, she's dealing with high blood pressure right now. I also suffer from high blood pressure um, and I also know that it is possible for high blood pressure to not only be physical, but sometimes extremely, extremely spiritual. In fact, you might say that the spiritual things in our life show themselves in a very um, mundane manner, in a, many cases. Anyway, that being said, I wanted to create a healing incense for a high priestess. And so that means I'm going to be doing a bit of magic, but I wanted to use herbs. So that being said, I am going to turn my camera around and I'm going to readjust it. And we are going to set up and watch me. It's going to get a little dark, so please forgive me in advance. And in advance also, uh, the lighting is not the best. I'm going to light a candle, maybe to give it a little aviance and some help. But um, I am going to go through a little ritual for our high priestess, for her to get some healing. And I'm going to mix these herbs up, and I want you to see what I'm doing. And, uh, well, you'll get a flavor for it. First of all, let me put this down and try to situate this. So you're not going to be seeing my face, but you will be seeing some parts of my body. And I know you'll hear my voice. So I'm just going to sort of lower this. And as you can see right here, I've got, this is my altar and I've got some herbs here. And uh, hold on, I didn't get my mortal and pestle. I'm going to get that. I'm right here, still with you. Woo. One very heavy mortal and pestle. Okay. That's right here. And I'm going to take, luckily I'm at my altar because usually I have everything I need here, which is great. I'm going to light some candles. And I'm going to tell you what color these candles are and what these colors represent in this particular consideration. I light a yellow candle for the Lord. For the sky and the sun and the beauty thereof, blessed be. I light a brown candle for the goddess and Mother Earth. For the ground below us that keeps us solid when all things are still rocky. The earth is always solid in there. I light an orange candle for creativity for lyrical, for whimsy, for the beauty and the fun and the funky that is this planet and in our life, blessed be. I light a black candle to banish all negative. To banish fear. To banish the Okay, my candles are lit. and They're lit for a purpose, as each one was told. So everything I do, I'm going to be explaining and telling you why I'm doing this. Right here is my recipe for the herbs that I'm going to be using. No, you really can't see that. But what I'm trying to explain is this. Um, I do not believe personally for myself in always you and always using a genetic healing incense recipe. I like to have one, I do have one, but I also believe that it's important for you to have sometimes a healing incense formula specific for a person or a cause. Notice I'm talking with my hands, I've become Italian. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. First of all, when making incense from scratch, your main ingredient is salt. Now, the one reason why we have salt is 
not just for main ingredients, it's also grounding and salt is purification and salt can also be for protection, but mostly purification and grounding. So I'm going to pour that into my mortal. There we go. That's enough. And the next thing I'm going to be adding to my recipe is chrysanthemum. Now you remember Odor Dash. Sorry about that. Interruptions, they do happen. Anyway, like I said, chrysanthemum. I hope I didn't put it down in a weird place. No, I didn't. Now, as you recall, we had a lesson about chrysanthemum. And I'm adding chrysanthemum tonight for long life for my high priestess. That she can endure what she needs to endure. And that she is protected always. And for this reason, I add chrysanthemum that in there. Now usually with a mortal or a pestle you think well she's going to crush it up. But these are chrysanthemum leaves and leaves are hard to crush. These are not, they're dry but they're as dry as they're going to be. I take the energy of my hands and I crush this up. As you can see. I'm just going to do this. And I know you can't smell it but the smell of this is really good. I'm crushing it now. Oh, we stir in longevity. Mm, protection. Mm, long life. Mm, may she endure all she may endure. She will endure. Oh, she will, she will endure, all things shall be endured. Mm, blessed be, blessed be, blessed be, Father God. Mother Goddess, blessed be. Okay, the next thing we're going to be adding is saffron. Now, I haven't given you a lesson on saffron. Right now, I'm not going to do the lesson. I will tell you this much. Right now, saffron represents a lot of things, but in this recipe, it's for strength. Oh. It's for healing, much healing, and love, love, love. Oh. Mm. We send you healing. We send you strength. We send you love, 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 love. We send you healing. We send you strength. We send you love, 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 love. Okay, the next thing we're going to add is ginger. Again, this is something we've not gotten a lesson on, but ginger is good for power and ginger is good for love. And as we know, power is good for overcoming. We sometimes need the power to overcome things. I put in power and we also need love. We can never have too much love. And I send you love. I'm going to put my spoon back down here. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, I send you power. Mm, I send you love. You got the power. You can feel my love. Well, I send you power. I send you love. You shall endure healing and strength. Okay. And now we're going to add sage. As everybody knows, sage is a very powerful thing. Here's my sage right here. And we have had a lesson on sage. But this one, we're going to use it for wisdom. 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 And protection. Like I said, you can never have too much protection and wisdom. Blessed be. I'm going to put this back down. Wisdom follow you with all your power. May you find wisdom through the hours. Wisdom to follow through. Wisdom will carry you. Find some wisdom within you. Protect you too. Strength and wisdom, strength and wisdom, you will endure with strength and wisdom. Feel the love within you, healing energy too, feel the strength, wisdom, power, love too. Love to. Okay, last but not least, last but not least, still talking with my hands, we're going to add some lavender. I'm a big believer. Mm, I love the smell of lavender. So lavender. Lavender is for peace, happiness. Love and protection. Mm -hmm. Find some peace, you find some peace and happiness, happiness. Find your peace and happiness. God has grant you peace and happiness. The Lord will protect you. Peace and happiness. Love and protection. Mm -hmm. Okay, now believe it or not, this is all pretty much mixed. So now I'm going to put this down. Okay, so I'm going to lift up my camera screen. I hope you can see me because I'm going to put this back. Let me put this down. Just lift this up. Okay, now I'm back. I hope you guys got most of that. I hope, you know, because I don't know part of it cut, kind of cut off. Anyway, I'm coming over here. And I'm going to light my incense. Now, I know a lot of you are probably like, why is she singing with everything that I add? Because I'm going to tell you something. you got to put your intent out to the universe. Tell it what you want and what you expect. Put it out there. Now, I know that I put my intention out there that my high priestess will be healed. I know, I know she will be protected. I know she's got the power, the strength. She will be at peace. I know she is happy and I know she has love. 
Because this is all that I put in there and my intent will go out. And I say this. Oh, blessed be. Healing is yours. Blessed be. Peace is yours. Blessed be. Strength is yours. Endurance is yours. Long life is yours. It is my will, and I send this energy out to my sister and my high priestess. May all be well with her. And I dissipate all that has been going wrong. Blessed be. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. And I was just uh, putting my energy and infusing my incense. So I'm going to see if I can turn this around. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you can see, there is my, um, my, um, mortal, see? You know, and then I'm going to find out this was actually the pestle, but it's the mortar. So I'm going to put this over here, put it down, okay, and just put some of this on my incense. May she smell the sweet beauty of this, and I know she does. And it goes out. I ask the element of air to carry this. Carry this. Carry this. Carry this to Lee Summit, Missouri. Know the smell. Feel the scent. Feel the healing. Blessed be. Blessed be. I know my Lord and Lady live. What comfort this sweet sentence gives. They live, they live in the birds and the trees. They live, they live. In everything, when I am down and I'm feeling blue, their love and goodness shines right through. Oh, the sweet joy this sentence gives. I know my Lord and Lady lives. I know my Lord and Lady lives. Blessed be. 